Windows 11 by default doesn't display a delete confirmation dialog when you delete a file. Instead, the file or folder is sent immediately to the recycle bin. For example, delete a file. The file is deleted without any message. But you may end up moving something to the recycle bin accidentally. Windows 11 includes a feature that you can set which will prompt for a delete confirmation dialog. Enabling it will add another step to the deletion process, helping you to avoid accidental deletions of files. Enable delete confirmation dialog using desktop icon. The easiest way to enable or disable the delete confirmation prompt on Windows is through Recycle Bin properties. Right click on the Recycle Bin icon on the desktop and select properties. In the Recycle Bin properties window, check the Display Delete Confirmation dialog checkbox. Click on Apply and then OK button to save the changes. Now, whenever you delete any files, it will automatically display the delete confirmation dialog. Click on S to delete or No if you change your mind. Disable delete confirmation dialog. If you want to go back to the old way of no confirmation dialog when deleting a file, just revert the configuration. Enable or disable delete confirmation dialog using group policy editor. If you are a system administrator, you might prefer using the group policy editor to make system level changes. The local group policy editor is a Windows feature that is used to configure and modify different settings for the operating system. The policy setting to enable or disable the delete confirmation dialog can be found under the user category in the group policy editor. Press Windows plus R keys to open the run dialog. Enter gpedit.msc in the box and click on OK or press Enter. Local group policy editor window is opened. In the user configuration section, click on administrative templates. Next, click on windows components and then file explorer. Double click on the display confirmation dialog when deleting files policy. Display confirmation dialog when deleting files window opens. Now change the toggle from not configured to enabled. Click on the apply and OK button to save the settings. Now you will get a confirmation dialog whenever you try to delete a file or folder. Click on S to delete the file. To not show the confirmation dialog, change the toggle back to not configured or disabled. Click on apply and OK. Enable disable delete confirmation dialog using registry editor. Another way to configure this setting is going through the registry editor. It stores all the configurations for the Windows operating system, installed applications and hardware devices. However, it will only have the default keys and values for default settings. To add additional settings, users need to create the missing key and value for that specific setting. Press Windows plus R keys to open run dialog. Now type REG edit and click on OK or press the enter key to open the registry editor. Enter this address in the address bar and press enter. Right click on the right pane and select new dword 32 bit value. Rename it to confirm file delete. Right click on the newly created dword and select modify. In the value data field enter 1. Click on OK and restart your computer to apply the changes. After the reboot, Windows should display the delete confirmation dialog when you try to delete a file or folder. If you want to undo this change at any time, follow the same steps and change the value data for confirm file delete to zero. Alternatively, you can delete the confirm file delete entry altogether. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.